What's up viewers, today I've got a video for you, custom camshaft done by yours truly, this guy. So, it's my 380 lifts, started out with 26 pound valve springs, but I sold my cam, came with the springs, so I'm on 18s now. Uh, anyway, started with 11 one compression, fixed my rings, bumped it up a whole point, you'll see in the video. Anyway, am I going to blow up? Is the engine going to blow up? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Well, I just wanted to show this. Oh, it's bleeding out. Alien juice. Oh. Okay, after all this work, getting that high lift camshaft in, I'm finally done. All this grinding, I had to grind here, on the exhaust side right here, exhaust side right here, and the intake right here. And the other side gave me troubles because I didn't know what that sound was. When I turned it over, it was pinging a little bit. It was the exhaust side of the crankshaft. Not just here. Also there. Man. So that's what took me so long to get it done. Oops. Well, finally ready to slap it together. Fire it up. Yeah. Check out the coil bind. It's not bad, but it's really close. All right, guys. Here's the custom grind. Here's the Iski 290 grind, which I'm trying to sell. But for comparison, let's see here. Should be able to see a big difference there. Big, big lifts. Anyways. Eleven to one compression, about a three eighty lift. Anyways, let's start her up and hope I don't blow up. Okay. Testing compression ratio. Yeah. 
And it says, what does that say? A little less than 12. Alright guys, I'm just going to do an idle test. I vented the crankcase a little bit where that governor hole is under the gas tank. So it shouldn't smoke. Check out my little... <laughs> I got a hold of an engraver, so yeah. Just to show, I left camshaft is still in there. It's just I sold my other camshaft with the 26 pound springs, so these are 18s now. So I have a little more coil bind to work with, the coil space. So, let's uh, see how well it runs with the valve cover off. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 